it's going to be a bee hit. There's 25 seconds left. Four players congregated in that direction. Smoke Molotov, and there he goes. Maybe peeking a little bit too soon, maybe trying to be a bit of a distraction, but the mid-presence is gone. That's good. Nice flash there. Going to force Forrest off the angle, and now Cloud9 to at least swarm towards the bomb site itself. So the bomb could be planted pretty soon, unless Rez hits something pretty nice on the cross, but... Not going to be happening. Bomb going down, eight seconds remaining. Pretty close to the marker, but still, bomb plant. Draken on the flank, though. Nothing's got to be aware of that. Yeah, and they were hoping Stu is going to be there to maybe cut that off initially, but he goes down first and foremostly just moments ago. And by this point, NIP have crunched the site, picked up almost every kill, and Rez is having a moment. Now that's a shot and a half. Yeah, they're going to transition over towards the B bomb site, coming through the vents where it's just Rez. Force is on his way back, but can he get here in time? 15 seconds. If he can find the bomb, if he can. Oh my god, this could be huge. Rez, brilliant work from him. What an impression to make. Denies the round, spiraling out of control after a great beginning even happened towards A at the beginning there for Cloud9 if they don't consider it. Look at the time as well. They do, luckily for them, sweep them out of the way. Nothing they're going to do the job. Draken goes down. Rez the next in line. 20 seconds. Cloud9 need to make this hit right about now. Otherwise, they simply don't have enough time. These UMPs have pretty decent stopping power, to say the least. And look at him. Rez buying time like a champ. Goes back in. That is sensational oh play. God. Who is this man? That is absolutely nuts. What a performance with the UMP. But you're exactly right. Cloud9, they just get stopped by the UMPs and no one is aggressive whatsoever. Rez is allowed to be here for far too long. All the utility is expended and no one from Cloud9 is making the moves. This USP though, that's not bad at all, is it? This one at the end is... Things could get tricky. Four players playing retake, back in from truck. No shots hitting and they know there's two players here on the boost. Nothing. Oh, that's the shot you wanted to see. And again, Shroud! He's coming alive, finally! Now the 1v1 though, Draken spotted out, tagged up, it's a one shot, pretty much both ways of it. Shroud has the bomb and the shot, the headshot comes through! And it didn't seem like it until he, Shroud kind of came to play. It, it, it all looked perfect for an IP for a good while. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Only going to be Rez here. And I say that, but he has the Deagle and he got, did get the opening kill. He holds off on the shot. There's Forrest with one. Rez is taken oh down, but God. Forrest gets two. He's here and he almost brings automatic down, but he can't do it. Two on three. The bomb's going to get planted, but it looks like NIP is going to be able to return the favor. He set up the rest of the team so perfectly. Yeah. Bomb's now planted. Automatic, no chance in hell. That would have been a phenomenal 1v3 if he even had a shot in it, but by the time he came off that plant, they were already there. Pressure, where does he fall back to comfortably? He's going to already kind of start edging away from this, but. Gonna spot one, sticks around long enough to connect the shot towards Stewie. Again, that, that rifle will fall into the hands of Skadoodle this time. And the rest of the hit will begin from Cloud9. This time, though, not with quite that punch that we saw before. And now you can see NIP comfortably locking that door. Shroud with the Molotov. Get right's gonna have to move. Another one goes towards Quad as well. He's gonna be burning pretty soon, but I think it actually stops short. There's Exist with the backup. He's gonna swing wide, but completely blinded. And Cloud9 has slowed down from this hit, but over the top is Skadoodle. He's in a one on one. 36 seconds. Bomb goes in. Rez is so close already, though. I don't know if Skadoodle is ready for that one. He wasn't, but still makes it into cover, but swings back out. And Rez, just quicker on the trigger and better overall at the moment. This guy is playing a very solid game. Obviously got to be wary about opposition, and there it is. He finds the kill. No, he doesn't. It was perfect. That's exactly what he needed. And Forrest, with a rebuttal, shuts it down. Another round for NIP. So nice. Shroud's going to try and pinch him in, prevent him from getting away, and he does so. No backup for Draken. At least Skadoodle takes out Get Right. This is a good start. And Exist, he's dropped. Good execution from Cloud9. It's a four on two. And Exist with an opening kill. I do wonder how he's going to get away with this one. No one expecting it. Didn't hear it, didn't see it. Automatic falls. And you can see Shroud instantly looking for a reply. I thought he hit that. It was nothing. Who found Draken in the meantime, and then Skadoodle getting could get right down. But it's brought it back to a manageable situation, but they have no map control. They have nothing. They're playing out of spawn, basically, at this point. But the weapons still sit favorably by them. Rez as well, with a lovely deep angle towards Sunrim. That's going to surely keep this one under wraps. I don't know. Maybe Skadoodle can do something here, but he's not a name that I've been saying often. And, well, there we go. There's the Tech 9. Rez falls, but will he expect the second so close? No is the answer. Forrest there with a the deagle to shut down on the heart. <laughs> and there's some betting. Cool. Uh, check it out. At the moment, we're kind of missing out on the pistol, though, because that... <gasps> Stewie, this is sick. If he can somehow make it away, 3 HP, how is he alive? He gets pinched in the end. That was pretty hectic, to say the least. But normally, that's when he comes alive. Normally, that's his, you know, I, I guess... His playground almost, but down to two players now for NIP, NIP to try and fight this one back in. That's Stewie in his element, right? Like getting aggressive, he's fi finding one kill, but Automatic's there to help him out and back him up. He's got three in the round, but just creating space, delaying time. It's Eagle, it's been so dangerous, and it's not this time. Shroud takes him out. Always under when we get hopes up, but there it is. He finally steps up for you, Jason. Yeah. You're, you're, you're hoping. Some pistols. 
plant. Maybe get a gun away or two. See if you can play it off the back of that. One flash towards quad, one smoke towards the cross. Stewie still. What? What? How has he done that? Res finds two out of nowhere. Skadool and Stewie. What just happened to you? Yeah, you absolutely can't have that. Not expecting the timing on that hit whatsoever. It seemed like Skadoodle wasn't even prepared for it to come in. Stewie, obviously, in a very, very awkward spot and just misses the spray. If you're Cloud9, you just save here, I think. I mean, you're going you're gonna to stick around and you're going to wait for the smoke to clear, see if you can get one kill, because you know it's against pistols, but... I think pretty soon they got to think about saving these weapons. Nothing's low, but there go the nades and everything's burning, but trades come out and exist in a one-on-one -on -one with automatic. And he only has the pistol, but the bomb's planted so nicely for him. One nade on automatic. He's got to make this one count straight on the bomb. Nade goes in. Exist only tagged, though. Short of being two seconds. That's all he needs. Completely off guard by NIP, and that's one of those crippling rounds we, we often associate with North American teams is just everything's looking good. Drop that critical anti-eco, anti-force buy. NIP's allowed to get away with one, and they're right back in it. Quite nice from NIP. Well, Stewie now giving away a bit of the game. Couldn't follow up as he drops down towards Rez. It's not Skadoodle into the 1v3. Now, the damage was great earlier, but I guess with the AWP, it doesn't really make much of a difference to him in a way. And, well, who's the first man in? It was Get Right waiting, perfectly positioned and far between, but that's a good bit of opening damage. But Forrest instantly comes back in, and, well, he Better can see... Better bit of opening damage. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice, Forrest. All right, you can see the wood for the trees, and this guy is just going off. I, I, I love seeing Forrest playing well. It's something that we didn't get to see much of on the first half, but if he's starting to feel more confident, that could be a fun factor to come back around. Now, Shroud and Stewie goes out. He's going aggressive on this. Great flash as well. Perfectly done. Cloud9 retain numbers, finally. Not going to drop this one just yet, but again, NIP testing the waters. Forest straight out there, feeling confident. Maybe a little too confident, as now Automatic comes in from the vents, and you've got a brilliant shutout here. Yeah, this is great use of utility from Cloud9. All of NIP gets bottlenecked. They get aggressive behind it as well. Slow down that hit, take out all the teeth of it, and this is perfect. Exist and Res have nowhere to go. They had no presence over towards A, so there's not even another option. They can't fall back and try and get something going. They just have to move forward and take these fights. All the while, Stu coming from behind. There's one kill and a second at range. It's, if Automatic can still do something here, surely not. No. Every single time they're going to check on him. Forrest is clean right now. This is a crisp looking Forrest with the jump as well to make it look good. And of course, the follow up. Stewie gets shattered. And Cloud9 are looking vulnerable now. It's all down to one. Oh my word. Who scream? Because Forrest is tapping like a champ. He just makes it look so easy. It's almost frustrating to watch. Going to be playing back into this forklift is the next big issue, and that's Drake, and that's a shot he's going to hit, but the first one he missed earlier. It's a bit of a sitter in comparison, but the 2v2, an aggression from Rez, taking the fight, but gets outdone. Stewie in the end stands. It's down to the 1v1, but time is a factor. He has no kit and no shot. It exists to shut things down, and NIP showing that Cash is still beside them.